Holidays and celebrations, that's what we always talk about. Now guys, I picked a subject today to talk about called Break Room Holidays in the Workplace. And I'm going to be doing a probably a whole series about this because uh, this is something that uh, I get a lot of questions about and it's worth discussing. Okay, now I realize that this is a term that most of you are not going to be familiar with because this term probably started about, I'd say, seven to ten years ago, and it's a term that is used among corporate people, and they discuss it district to district when they ask questions like, hey, what break room holidays are you going to be having for your people this month? Okay, now let me dive into this and let me break it down to you a little bit more, okay? Now, years ago, companies only celebrated the major holidays like Christmas and New Year's. But we're not talking about the major holidays today, guys. We're, we're talking about those little tiny holidays that are, are similar to food holidays. Well, most of them that are celebrated are the little food holidays. The food holidays like National Donut Day. I know every one of you have heard of that. You see commercials on TV about National Donut Day. It's always June the 7th, I think. Um, National Cookie Day, which is in December, December the 4th. These are little small token holidays that are celebrated in the break room that companies do every single month. Now, there's a reason behind why they're doing this. Um, in this day and time, the stress levels are so bad in society now, both at work and at home, that companies are having to incorporate ways of lowering the stress levels. So they have found out that these small little break room holidays do a whole heck of a lot for communication skills, for lowering the stress, for getting people to come together and open up. Um, and this means um, better everything because when stress levels are high employees disengage and when you disengage from work you're disengaged from the people you work with you disengage from the customers you, you disengage from everything so it has been proven that these small little token break room holidays do a whole lot for the stress level and morale in a company so guys if um you work for a company that is not incorporating these break room holidays, maybe you need to bring it up. But most of them already are doing it. If you're on a fun committee or the holiday committee, you want to reach into the internet and see if you can't find these monthly holidays, these food holidays that can be celebrated and mark those things on the calendar and get ready for them. Because businesses need to know ahead of time what they're planning for because of the budget. But now these little token break room holidays are holidays that are very inexpensive anyway and easy to, to incorporate into the budget. So um, guys, um, if you're starting a new company and you've never heard of this, then take some notes. Okay, let's start incorporating some more stuff and lower the stress level for everybody, everybody, management, staff, everyone all together, okay? Okay, guys, mark those calendars and let's celebrate these holidays. <laughs> Have fun, guys. We'll see you on the next video. I'll be going over a whole long list of uh, break room holidays that are very popular each and every month, okay? So if you need to know these holidays for your workplace, make sure you subscribe, okay? Bye, guys.